Okay, so I'm kind of going to do a demonstration of what I have to do to load this crone baler with twine. It is very different than the New Holland. What are you doing, jerking off in your Jeep? No. Oh, that's, you're sure? Yes. What were you doing in there? Charging my phone. Yeah, charge your phone. Okay, so I had some issues with this uh, baling twine in this crone baler. Uh, and I'll tell you why or what the problem was. In the New Holland, they had little holes like over here and you would pull the twine through that little hole and then it would go up and it had little hangers and little hooks and things but the crone is very different the crone actually pulls up through the center there's a little slot here and then it goes up through and what I did was I thought well okay if I just you know hook the twine up so that it would pull and then when I got down to this ball I just put a new ball in and then it would fish up and underneath this one and you know it would feed out well what happened is when it was like this it actually cut a slot in the bottom of the ball of twine causing me a major ass ache like every time it would go I run that twine in it would get to the cut spot and then the baler would run out of baling twine so I uh, learned pretty quickly that that was not the smartest idea because these balls of twine are 37 bucks. This one here is 30, 38 bucks for the crone twine, 37 for this. Um, this only has 3,800 feet. This one has 4,000. So this is a little more money, but it's 650 pound knot strength versus the 600 giant spool. I like this twine. It works really good. This is the uh, they call it Agco Advanced, but it is actually um, Cordex Agri twine. So I'll probably be buying more of that um, over the Crone just because I get an extra 200 feet. Yeah, it's 50 pounds less, but you know what? It's a lot of, a lot of, a lot of hay to put in a, in a bale for that little extra money. Uh, so anyhow, um, what you got to do is, oh, Mr. Tim, I'm going to set this up here. You have to actually move the balls. Let's see, can we get the whole thing in place? Did I hit you in the head? That hurts. Good. What are you sitting on your ass for? Did I hit you hard enough? Yes. Or are you still sitting there? Give me a ball of twine. So anyways, every single ball that you use, or that you change, you actually have to move the, the ball that's being used to the upper position. Which, quite honestly, is not the uh, ideal for me because this model crone this model crone that I have does not have the twine boxes that move downward like the egg tie crone does and then all you do is just kind of tuck it in there okay so now the excitement's over Mr. Bones over there my daddy did this to me Oh shit. Anyhow, I have a special knot that I do. It's like a square knot with a double twist at the bottom side. But when you do that, it actually pulls over the top and fixes that issue of it moving. I think Mr. Tim is mad at me. How the hell am I going to be able to show you this knot? Well, here it goes. I'm going to pull this actually up. Like a so. Hopefully this is in focus. Now, this is a typical square knot. Left over right. Like a so. But in order for this thing to stay in a big baler, because there's so much vibration, you do that twice. And it makes like a squiggly. Then you go right over left through the bottom. Now what happens when you do that is it actually pulls it pulls that knot, the last string, the first string, over the top and prevents it from loosening up. And that's how you do a double square knot on the big square baler. So I'm going to finish this up and then we're going to go to work. Right? Right. We're always going to work. It's getting late today, but you get the gist on how this thing works. And I think I'm going to do the five things I love about the Crone Baler.
lot of prep work that goes into each and every day before I go to the field. Um, and I really don't show what it takes to get this baler ready to go before you go to the field. But I've already done them. Uh, I actually had Carl. Carl was here earlier. I had to go take Peyton to get his driver's test done. He failed. But that's okay because he gets to do it again. But this drive line is very particular. You have to put a lot of grease in here. You grease the shaft, universal joint, the shaft, it's like 30 seconds of pumping with the electric pump. You have to put no less than, I forget how many ounces of, ounces of grease, I think it's 80 ounces, 80 grams of grease into the CV joint, plus the universals of both sides, it takes that time. Obviously, you want to clean off some of the, the debris, check your knotters, uh, and reload your bailing twine, which you have to do every single day. Because if you don't do that, it is going to fail. And we don't want failure. Whether it's a New Holland or this Crone, I didn't want failure with the New Holland, nor do I want failure with this Crone. Now, that's it. It takes about a half an hour to do the greasing and the, uh, all of the greasing and all of the prep work before you go to the field. So it's just one of those things, you have to do it uh, or you're going to fail. So I put a special grease in my, in my CV joints. I used to use that Worth SIG 3000 by Worth. I'm no longer able to get that. So I have now stepped up to Lucas. Um, high temperature, it takes 560 degrees of heat before that stuff will melt and sling out. It's a nice film of oil onto the of grease onto all the surfaces. So I've stepped into that for now until I can relocate the worth SIG 3000 guaranteed not to pound out high temperature grease, which I'm expecting to be able to get that again before the summer's over. But I have ordered five cases of the Lucas. Yeah, five cases of the Lucas. There's a reason for that. I go through a lot of grease. You don't see all the greasing that goes on. I think half of the negative viewers that I have are like, you don't do enough maintenance. That's why you're breaking shit all the time. Well, I maintain probably better than anybody in New Jersey because this equipment is expensive. But now I'm going to go to the field. And thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe.